is number two of my interview with Dr. Janet Smith-Warfield, Dancing with Words, Dancing with Wisdom. And I was speaking of the role of women as leader, men as nurturer. And we equated that to the patriarchal system, which holds that men are in charge. I, too, have struggled with the patriarchal system. Mm -hmm. Yes. For me, it's been an extremely difficult struggle because I have had to break free of his story and shift into her story or my story, which is very different from his story. I mean, and, for, and it's been a hard journey. I've had to choose at many points in my life whether to stand in my own integrity or to fall back into being a compliant female member of the patriarchal system. Do you have any comments about any of that, Sharon? Oh, yes. You, you understand when I asked that question to go to the cause of humanity's pain, they said it isn't being done that way on the planet. If you want to go to cause and make the corrections that deep, then we will have to teach you. So it, the history is not about male story. It is not about male story. It is not about patriarchal story. It is about agenda story. It took them eight years to really teach me and for me to understand what they were talking about. What they were saying is that the cause isn't what you are being told. Therefore, the problem isn't what you are being told. So they took me to our existence before Earth, way before Earth, and said the cause exists in those experiences way before Earth in mass consciousness, where agendas for harm were introduced. Parasitic type agendas for harm were introduced. It's like <clears throat> the introduction of a virus into your computer. Wherever there is a weakness, there we have a parasitic, we have a virus, we have then an agenda to dominate and use others' energy. And the weakness that was whispered into our greater biofield, our intelligent field, at, just after home, was a concept that you're not enough. You great, you families that are on this new adventure, you're not enough. You've not done this before. You, you don't know what you're doing. So let us help you. Let us help. And in our naivety, we open the door to this uh, group of, I call them outsiders, whose agendas were to dominate, use, and control it is another element, not of our divine family's plan. And that is, that's the virus that we call patriarchy. It's not patriarchy. It's a, a parasitic, outsider, virus-induced agenda. Now, here's the power of words. Had I said to my, ask my group, my team, would you help me get to the cause of this client's pain? That would have been a whole different door opening. It might, they might have taken me to early childhood and then to past lives and then to family genetics. And that would have been enough of getting to the cause of this pain for this lifetime that the client would walk away and be, and be fairly active in their life and their life unfolding quite well. I didn't ask that. My word was, I, I want to go to the cause of humanity's pain. And that's the difference. It's like when you, if you see in the world today, the call, we want to cure cancer. I don't want to cure cancer. I want to eliminate cancer. The difference in the world. <laughs> I don't want to understand this crazy culture that we see in, in political leadership. I don't want to understand and see and name I want to eliminate the culture from which they grew. And how do you do that? Yeah, you do that by having a, me a way to get outside 
of the words of our quote unquote history, the constructs of our religious history, our financial history, our political history, our earth history, to get outside of that cloud, that box, and find that clear space, clear intelligence of integrity that says, I will show you how we can do that. And that's been my mission for 30 years. And the cause happened way before Earth. Those causes, I can tell you, have been corrected on an immense scale that has, is making a difference on this planet. And I, you know, that's a whole, whole other interview. But what's important, I think, is that we on this planet, individually in, in humanity, we've been told that humanity is the cancer on the planet. And I'm telling you, that BS, it's not true. We live in lies. Humanity is not the cancer. The program, if you will, the outsider inserted concepts to destroy, to diminish, to use that outsider agenda is the cancer. And the whole purpose of the male-female gender assignments is to give space for that energy to be identified as contrary, parasitic, and to be commanded back to its home of origin. And that's how you change the culture.